Hello, FPS with survival. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I think a mistake I've made in the past um, is when I do these votes for what kind of games. I know I, I start. I let the. I started the vote early. Um, I can always redo the vote if if someone wants. But uh, give me a second here. I'm just gonna get uh, this rolling first. Give me a moment. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Um, now. Here's, here's my, hold on, don't worry. This is not, this is not a, uh, it's not a bit, I promise. It's not a bit. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit of a bit. Okay, hold on. Um, g give me, give me one second. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of the games in question. Uh, so that we can, we can get a more fair vote going on all right here we go browse oh god this i'm doing this like the worst right now hold on sort sort by um date there we go okay so spirit fair is wholesome uh, it, it, you're, you're basically, it is exactly what it sounds like. You're helping, uh, spirits pass on to the other side, you know? Uh, and there's some, like, you know, feel good and also feel maybe bad stories. Um, and it's, it's meant to be very touching and, you know, so that's, that's what, um, Spirit Fair is. Uh, I'm trying to get to Chicken Police. Chicken Police, I actually don't know much about, but I'm going to take a picture of it all the same. Give me a second here. Oh, perfect. There's a perfect shot of um, Chicken Fair. Hold on. Copy and then uh, dupl um, duplicate. Okay. Second picture or second game is Chicken Police. Chicken Police is like a hard-boiled, no, uh, no pun intended, um, kind of point-and-click adventure, almost a visual novel. In fact, it is in the visual novel tag. It is a um, kind of intrigue noir story, as far as I can tell, detective-ish story. How am I feeling? I'm okay. My voice is a little, uh, but you know, I'm okay. Um, you know, I, I, I should be okay today. Um. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate is a very, um, it's a pretty old game now, but it is a top-down RPG, and I know that there are fans of the series in chat. It is based on the Dungeons and Dragons universe, so I should have, um, some kind of, like, stake in there. Like, I should, I should be able to follow along, um, pretty well. Um, and uh, I, would be I would be playing the Enhanced Edition. Um, it's got some quality of life features in it. It's um, generally uh, up, up, you know, it's, it's, it's upgraded for modern PCs. Uh, I've been meaning to play it, and um, there was recently a trailer for Baldur's Gate 3. So, you know, it'd be kind of neat is if I could play through the Baldur's Gate series and uh, prep for that. But, like, you know, that's not necessarily the intention if I didn't necessarily enjoy Baldur's Gate then uh um you know baldur's gate 3 is not off the table um it's done by i think larson uh i can't remember the it the the, st the company that did it did uh, a divinity original sin which i'm a huge fan of so uh that is you know that um stalker uh, i would be playing a stalker shadow of chernobyl um there is a new stalker game coming out not that it super matters, um, because I've been meaning to play the soccer games in general, um, because they are legitimate. They, they are good games, as I've, as I've heard from many people. Uh, but basically, they, um, uh, they're in a kind of a pseudo-fantasy, post-apocalyptic universe um, uh, surrounding Chernobyl uh, in Ukraine, um, basically post the events of Chernobyl, uh, lots of very strange things happen in Ukraine, including the appearance of anomalies, mutants, uh, all kinds of weird things. And uh, so the Stalker universe is kind of a 
survival game, but it's not really a survival game because that, that has a different connotation now. It's more of a first-person shooter with a storyline. Um, this is the best picture I could come up with here for Stalker. Um, I know there are some Stalker fans in chat, and uh, I think the Stalker series would be fun. I don't think it's very um, dark in the sense, like, you know, I've played horror games on here, and... You know, the, for a little while, we went through kind of a dark phase post-Halloween. Um, and we still are, well, with Library of Aruna, we, we are still in that. I am playing F and H too. Please pray for my sanity. What is F and H? Uh, FPS with survival elements. It's also It also has long grass, which absolutely devours bitrate. I changed my mind. I like Spiritfarer. That's the that's the issue with doing the vote before um, the stream starts is that some people might want to change their mind, especially when they have a bit more information. So if you don't mind, if y'all don't mind, I'm going to end the vote. Uh, and now that I actually have um, put up the the uh, the games in question, we've got basically um, Spirit Fair is probably the most wholesome of the four options. Chicken Police is not unwholesome, but it's, it, it's you know, a little bit darker. Uh, Baldur's Gate is not uh, a super dark game as far as I understand it, but it is a semi-dark fantasy universe. And then Stalker is definitely the darkest of all four. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, okay, what game? And we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing this vote for the next couple of hours um, while I play through Library of Ru Ruina. I'm sorry to um, do the vote twice, but I really should have done this uh, before I started the vote. So that is my bad. Please uh, direct your complaints towards me, and I will direct them towards the chat. No, I, I, I'm, you know, they're very valid. Baldur's Gate. I don't know if I've spelled Baldur's right. That's fine. Stalker. There you go. Here's the new vote. I, I, I wish you all the best of luck. Hope you get the game you want. Is there another name for ch uh, Chicken Police? Yeah, it's called Chicken Police Paint It Red. It's literally called Chicken Police and then there's a hyphen Paint It Red. A wild tale of love, death, chickens, and redemption. Chicken Police is a buddy cop noir adventure with a carefully carefully crafted world a gritty story and absurd humor. Um, the game mixes classic adventure games with visual novel style storytelling presented in a beak droppingly unique art style. It does have a very good art style, I have to say. It looks good. Kind of looks like. <laughs> it kind of looks like that one Caravan Palace video that we love so much. You know that one Caravan Palace music video? You know the one? You know the one? The one that the one they, they go into the nightclub? You know? Uh, yeah, the night, the nightclub caravan palace. Um, is it, uh, I will not tell you what FNH is. If you know, you know. Okay. Pretty sure you can make it sound what? Huh? What? I didn't update the chat. Give me a second. Make it why why did you say it like that? I love that one caravan palace video. You know the one with the giant robot <laughs> That's a reference. I like that reference. I wish I could play literally any caravan palace on here without getting absolutely destroyed I'm just gonna do a, 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 a Invitation have we done all of these now? All of the level one uh, floors. Did we do this one? Yeah, I well, I think we did, because I seem to recall. I remember these robots. Did I burn their books? I don't know if I did burn their books. I can never remember how this works. Is it zero four, meaning I have zero of four? Or does that mean I've collected all, the, all of the ones that I, that already exist? I know. I'm sorry that I have to keep learning how this game works every week. I'm sorry. I wish I was better at video games and had a better memory. 
for these things. It's fine. I can just burn books. There we go. We got them. Whatever. Okay, we got three new teams we probably have to um, work with. And they all have anomaly floors. I really hope that that doesn't eat up too much time today. I'd rather just do some story. I don't know if I'm able or capable of doing these stories yet. But there we go. Or book of a sweeper let's just do the story and then uh, we'll figure out if I'm capable of doing the actual combat hello miss Lala here's your prescript <clears throat> to Lala put three needles in Lily's birthday cake by noon tomorrow so you may have noticed my voice is a little bit coarser today uh, I'm not really sick I am just in recovery mode, and it might have been that um, streaming while in recovery mode was not that not a good thing. But I don't like it. I'm not. I'm. I'm okay. Like I, nothing hurts. So we'll see. We'll see if I have to kill stream today. Probably not. Hello. Aurora. Hey. What? Hey. Wow. Come here. Hold on. Hey, where, what, are, what are you doing? Hey, come here. Come here. All right, you want to be scooped up? I'm going to scoop you up. Here you go. Scooped. Right. Okay, sorry, cat. Sometimes a cat, you know what a cat likes likes to do? A cat likes to um, sit in a room that is not the one that you're in. You know, like a really far away room. And go, Hey! What's up? Like... From really far away and they they're you know they're the, the, the loud cat can their voice will carry so i'll just hear in the in a separate room just like oh oh hey cactus build murder attempt is what that is is what that is putting needles in cake hello friends and bimple's cat and bimple hello uh, third on the list, I see. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we are joined by Cat now. Cat is happy in lap now. Uh, put three needle in Lily's cake, a birthday cake by tomorrow morning. By Lily, does it mean Miss Lily who's living next door? I did hear it's her birthday tomorrow. I'm not sure myself. What if she bites one of those needles and gets hurt? You never know, she might luckily notice the needles before she eats them. Or you could tell her in a oh, yeah, content warning on this game, just the whole game. And like, I, if you ask me which content warnings, and I'm not trying to be facetious here, I promise, all of them. Like, uh, basically all of them. I don't think there's a single thing that we haven't seen in this game at this point that isn't horrible. So I'll see you in two hours. Um, I'm sorry. It sucks. I, I mean, the game doesn't suck. I, I enjoy it, but I also understand that for some people, this game is just unwatchable. <laughs> you could tell her in advance that there are needles in her cake. Oh, is it okay for me to spoil the prescript to her? The prescript didn't say anything about it, so it should be all right. My apologies. English isn't my second or third or... Uh, sec first or second or third language. Okay. Uh, well, uh, that, I'll, you know, no worries, that guy. Just so you know, um, uh, referring to something as being gay can make it sound like you're using it as a bad. I'm, I'm using, like, you know, simple language out of kind, uh, respect. Like, I, I, I just want to let you know. Um, and that can be seen as not good. Like, you know, it, it's, it's, yeah, not, not seen as being respectful. But, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm just letting you know for your own, uh, for, for your future reference. That guy knows more languages than me. 
Uh, you know, he knows three more languages than I do unless you count cat Which I know you wouldn't unless you're on DeviantArt Um, it's just DeviantArt really comes up a lot in these streams, doesn't it? Strange though, I've, I've been getting weird prescripts like this lately. Is there a meaning to this? If you don't carry out the prescripts, the index won't provide protection. You have a family, right? No, no, it isn't like that at all. Okay. How's fighting the funny index boys? I don't know. I hope you can fulfill this one smoothly. Okay. Hello, Mr. Lee Diok Gu. Uh, see, I mean, like, see, I, I could be pronouncing that horribly, and I'm sorry if I am. You've got a new prescript. My cat is very much soaking in attention right now. Here, let me see if I can get some cat noises on, on stream. He's kind of at a weird angle. You want to give some cat noises for stream, child? Can you guys kind of hear him? There you go. Good day. How are you doing, bot? What more am I supposed to do now? Sorry, sir. I sadly can't do anything for you, even if you cling to me. Now take in deep breath and read it out. To Li Diok Gu, play rock, paper, scissors with the third person you meet and play rock. If you win, pull out 59 strands of their hair. Then apply seafood cream past the sauce with mealworms fed on styrofoam to it three times and eat it with a fork. Oh my god. Sick bastards, you're telling me to eat that shit? Good luck on this one. Oh no. I had to make risotto out of sewer water and give it to Minji next to the door just a week ago. They ate it without asking and it ended up going to the ER. This. I'm sorry, all I do is deliver the prescripts. Please, I'll give you as much money as you want, or let me get a different prescript just this once, I beg you. I'd love to change this, but I don't have the authority to do that. Also, I mean, like, if you're gonna get a different prescript, you might want, you might get one that's worse, you know? You might get a worse prescript. So something my cat will do if he wants me to, like, um, just rub his face. That's what he likes. He doesn't even like pets, really. He just likes me to rub his face. Uh, is he'll grab my hand with his paw and just like move it towards his face all right every everyone faces a test of faith in the prescripts i hope you can overcome this Ugh. messenger yen long time no see i love the robot designs on this game I know this is probably not a robot. Probably it's a person in a cyborg body. Hello, Proxy Gloria. Do you have business with Mr. McCarcus? Sorry, Lamarcus here too? Yep, I do. I got a prescript. Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. Lamarcus. Are you there? We're here to talk. Ah, uh, this won't do. Leave it to me, sweetie. There you are. What is happening? There's a lot of things happening right now. Please, it was it was a tiny issue. Do the thing, human. Brain, we have. Uh, it is time. We have we have come. We the, the the deadline approaches. And we have not done the doings. Yes, you have procrastinated again. Thank you for that, brain. Ah, uh, I need you to do that thing where we. Are do the doings? Oh, you mean deadline, deadline mode. mode? Yes, that. Yeah. No. Ah. Just a reminder: Index is one of the major criminal syndicates called Fingers. Oh, they're the Index Finger. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I like that. Are the other ones called the different fingers or are there funny puns with them too? Or they do, do they just have uh, 
d just normal names. <laughs> they were like, haha, index finger, that's too good not to use. Uh, do we have puns for the other organizations? No. Oh, okay. All right, well. Just call them colors then, I guess. Love the fact Gloria sounds like she's seven. Which one is Gloria? Is it the giant cyborg robot? Did this person not carry out his prescript? Nope. She so a prescript came down to me telling me to smash Mr. Lamarcus's frontal lobe. Usually proxies only receive prescripts on the rare occasion of someone else not carrying out their prescript, Mr. Lamarcus. You're you're shitting me. Kill the painting you've drawn. Does this make sense to you? Painting was everything in my life. I smeared my own art with ink, stabbed them, tore them, painted pictures of dead people in so many different ways. I did everything. Huh? That's totes a simple problem. Just pick anyone from the streets, use them as a model for your painting, and then kill them. Isn't that a no-brainer? I mean, that's kind of BS. Syndicate called thumbs. They are fingers. Well, a thumb isn't a finger. I'm a ten. This isn't my fault. It's the prescript being too vague. I agree. I think that's BS. If you're gonna mean something like that, then you should be more specific. It's not the prescript's fault that you are too dumb to get it. I did all I could do to live. I relayed numbers to guy, a uh, guy called Raymond. I moved a unicorn plushie to a park and I... Oh no, yikes forever! I even found a way to see green from a white wall for high in. I've been doing so good. Too bad you couldn't keep it up this time. I understand that you tried, but once we get a prescript, we should carry it out. No exceptions. Sorry, I had to mute myself so I could do a gross thing. Alright. I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> I'm so glad we heard the flesh sound. Hello, Mr. John. Here's your prescript. Hey, that's that's this guy's voice. To John, stand on any three-way intersection at 3.38 tomorrow. Look to the east and wave seven times. Is this really all I have to do to be protected by you guys? No need to pay money like with the other syndicates? Yeah, that's the case. All you need to do is carry out each prescript accordingly. Sweet! The index really is the best! You don't ask for back backbreaking fees like the others do. Will you please reconsider? Nothing is truly free in this city. I just have to carry out the prescripts that come to me from time to time, don't I? The nest went under so, so suddenly. Dangerous guy uh, gangs started prancing around the residential area. Yan is a very beloved character for the majority of players. Other syndicates all wanted me to pay absurd amounts of money to sign these ridiculous contracts. The index is the only one uh, for uh, me and my family could count on. If you believe so, you'll be safe as long as you follow the prescripts. Is Yan the forlorn uh, guy? Maybe. Hello. Yeah, I think that's true. Proxies, you have a new prescript to carry out. New prescripts, huh? We've been getting prescripts a whole lot more often these days. So Gloria is this giant, like, several limb... Oh! He's... Uh, she is basically uh, General Grievous. <coughs> hey, that's my best General Grievous. Um... <laughs> What is this game called? 
Uh, the this game is called Library of Ruina. Library of Ruina. It is um, a difficult game to explain, even after thirty hours of playing it. It's a deck a deck builder slash dice game slash um, yeah visual novel. A little bit of anime in there, just a little bit. Just a very good character, I guess. Uh, the reason is fanboy. Yeah. What is this game called? Okay. We've been getting prescripts a whole lot more often these days. Prescripts will be prescripts. It's not like you ever cared about how many prescripts you got. I have no doubts about prescripts, no. Though we might be seeing a lot of bloodshed with the thumb and the sweepers at this rate. I don't have any blood left on in my body to shed anyhow. Yo ho 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 ho! That's a real brook joke right there. I have no blood left in my body anyhow. Yo ho ho ho. Sorry. Daily dose of anime. That's it. That's all you get. Wouldn't want you to o OD. If war is what the prescript requires, we shall gladly wage war. It's our role to act on behalf of the prescript's will. Oh. We will carry out the prescripts we've received first. As proxies, each of us will convey the content that prescript messenger Yan has gave us to the uh, pro uh, proselytes in our familia. What are the prescripts about this time, uh, by the way? Let's see. Mine is to extract the spinal cord. Oh my god. Spinal cords of 37 year old people in the nest. Now, I have to ask, since, you know, we like to be specific around here. Is that the spinal cords of uh, uh, one 37-year-old or 37 one-year-olds? So slay the spire with dice mechanics? Um, no, I wish I wish it more like Magic the Gathering, except um, instead of ha do you play Magic the Gathering? It's kind of like Magic the Gathering if instead of having power toughness, um, you had toughness as a static number meaning you know whatever it's the same but your power was like a dice roll of like uh six to seventeen so when you you roll a 17 sided dice except it might only be six to seven like it's just um variable uh attack cards kind of hey uh sock how are you doing funny you mentioned it slay the spire actually has a very robust library of ruina mod that does not surprise me Hello? Also, cords implying multiple people. Well, that's the thing, right? Extract the spinal cords of 37-year-old people in the nest. Every 37-year-old in the nest. <laughs> okay, there's another um, uh, interpretation of that. Dunno? It's up to Proxy Esther to clarify ambiguities in Prescript, you know? Did you want to come back on for the lap? Lap time? Hello? Child? Hello? Meh. Why? You are ignoring me. Excuse me. Are you just looking out? Forlornly? You're looking down now. Okay, you don't you wanna go down. Okay. Goodbye. Uh are you getting simp? No, I'm coming uh, I'm I'm recovering from a sick. I was uh, sick last week. I lost a week of work. That guy also, uh, it's not a roguelite. It is also not a roguelite. Um, very much not a roguelite. Deno? It's like, okay. It does target all denizens of the nest. Search for every single person of the specified age and take their spine. Oh my god. Our familia's task is to exchange the left leg of the 14th person we come across today with the right leg of the 26th. Yo, this game loves to take, uh, I hate to say it, edginess to the next level. It's It definitely has a, a, a level of, a, like, a very thin layer of irony. Um, the game almost has, like, a, a dark, a you know, sense of black humor. But, like, this is a lot. Today I renewed my licenses. I can still drive cars and ride motorcycles. Nice. 
They're so out there. It actually feels strange to get a straightforward prescript for once. You see, Yen? Eliminate the thumb. No time limits. Oh, damn. That's uh, quite the prescript. This one needs no explanation. I will send my proselytes in to the library as my prescript dictates. Uh, question. If a prescript has no time limit, how can you fail it? Could you just, is it just like not making any efforts to complete said prescript? Nice. Oh boy, the index really is coming for us, huh? Do you, also you drive a motorcycle. I remember uh, Saku had a motorcycle. I can't remember. It was like something like you had a motorcycle or your sister had a motorcycle and you used their motorcycle or something. I can't remember. By dying of old age? Oh, come on. Seems the prescripts are often vague and need clarification. I haven't seen them myself, so I frankly have no idea how those instructions look. Don't know who makes the prescripts either. It's impossible that they could maintain such a massive syndicate following orders that come out of nowhere. That's the scary part. Those prescripts seem random, but they work out in their favor somehow. And no one knows who's responsible for making them? I haven't seen anyone that knows, at least. Or dying in that time in general. Well, dying is always, a, is always, you know, failure, in a sense. Like, dying is failing life. Uh, that sounds really bad, actually. You know what I mean? Like, you could be given any mission with the, uh, there's always the asterisk. That's, uh, you, you died. And therefore you failed the mission. I guess you could specifically be given the mission die But uh, you know mm, mm. I haven't seen anyone that knows at least the prescripts are long since appointed as a star of the city I gave rock paper cynic a ride on it. Oh nice Rock paper cynic of rock paper cynic dot com. I got a ride on socks motorcycle you opted out of that offer. I think I did. I, um, my dad used to, uh, own a, own a motor, ugh, my, damn, words, o owned a mi motorcycle. Wow, I almost said miter cycle again. A motorcycle, and I have ridden on a motorcycle, and I know it can be fun, but I don't think I knew you that well at the time, Sock. No offense. Um, so I was not about to jump on a motorcycle with you. I didn't know what kind of driver you were. And motorcycles are no joke. Um, they're fun, but like also, um, you know, a little bit spicy. So I cannibalized my sister's bike for parts when I needed new forks. Sorry. New <laughs> I ran out of cutlery. Um, do you fail if someone else completes the task? That is an interesting question. Cactus. I like that. I like your, I like how you think on that. That is an interesting point. If someone else was to wipe out the thumb, then technically you have failed your job. Because you didn't do it. That's a really good point. I didn't think of that. We called it a, a Kawazuki after I was in. I remember. I, now, well, I don't remember. I, I remember you telling me this story. And uh, I didn't remember any of the details, basically. I knew it had something to do with your, your sister had a bike. And uh, you were like, hey, can I just like can't you know disassemble it for parts it was like a, it was like a caves of code thing Dis disassemble it for bits so i can uh, tinker up a new motorcycle <laughs> i can hardly believe that so many are following such m m figury what is this word someone's been busy with the dictionary so blindly <laughs> That's pretty much everyone in the city. Like they said, people all just live according to the purpose of life given by someone or something else without thinking twice. Heck, those who are still lost without a purpose would gladly take prescripts, even if they require them to yield their own lives. They're willing to declare war against the thumb because the prescript said so. Life surely isn't the biggest concern for them. But that's only a conflict between syndicates, not wings. Can it clearly be, uh, can it really be called a war? Hey, ma'am, you have no idea how big they really are. 
And when the hundreds of fingers affiliated syndicates all clash at the same time, the scale in the aftermath is most certainly comparable to that of a war between wings. This town's going to be noisy with those fanatics around for a while. Um, she stopped writing when she got pregnant. Also asked, is this a strong word for what happened? I, yeah, I remember that part too. Project Moon translators love their dictionaries. I have no problem with people using um, big words. But I will say that it, it definitely um, makes makes things a little bit less accessible. So uh, there's only one floor, sorry, one floor available, but there's only one act on this. Uh, I'm a 10 saying good luck, meaning um, things may get pretty spicy. Um, who had I upgraded? I think, um, I think Yassad is good to go. I think Yassad was pretty much up to date. Um, so we could try that. Let's try Yassad. A humorous or satirical imitation of a serious piece of literature or writing. Uh, I'm gonna have to read that about 17 more times to understand. A humorous or satirical imitation of a serious piece of literature or writing uh so like huh okay so okay so it's almost like a satire it's like a copy of a copy because satire can be a writing piece of literature or writing in the first place so it's specifically um a, a humorous reflection of a serious piece of writing okay i got you uh, I'm gonna pee brain this just to get a feel for what they do. I'm gonna read their passives. Don't worry uh, Grace of the prescript each scene boosts the power of a random type of offensive dice by two Okay, so they have the power to like just do way more To hit all dice the user plays lose three power for this scene if singleton draws uh, Three pages what on use if singleton What does that mean if singleton? If singleton add plus four power okay so we got the, we got some kind of mechanic that i don't know uh skim prescript draw one more page at the start of the act okay we've got some pretty good cards here all dice the user plays lose three power for the scene these seem like pretty good big check check their attack target um this guy is attacking um pedro Okay, let's not pee brain things. Give me a second. Press one. Oops, not F1. Okay, so uh, they seem to all be attacking one person. Uncommonly used words go well together with the edgy theme. I agree. <laughs> uh, okay, so the, there's two fives, so I can't possibly divert those two fives. Because no one rolled higher than a five, I'm pretty sure the the roll I the the roll I did was a no. I don't think that's good actually. Like, did they divert anyone? It looks like we didn't divert anyone. Okay, let's um let's undo that again. Give me a second. So we're gonna start with Pedro. Pedro, you are gonna do some stuff. Let's uh, let's not do well. We can do a three and a zero. Let's do a three and a zero. So let's block that. No, 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 not not that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna block the two fives if we can. Yeah. So we're gonna conflict the two fives. Singleton means only one page in the deck. Oh. So they this is a deck where you try and discard all of your cards basically except for one. How do you do that? Okay, so now that we've conflicted those two cards, we're gonna try and um, divert the other ones that are not in conflict. We can do that pretty easily. So the only one I can't maybe do... Oh no, we have a four over here, perfect. So we'll, we'll divert that last one there, and then we're good. Um, Bimple is actually 
decided not to pee brain. Hey, hey, uh, Jared. Looks like Pedro's getting some more action today. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I should have checked which, um, what damage these guys were weak against. And I did not. And I don't think it was, uh, bash. So that's not good. I am at least, like, doing something. Um. So, they, they got more, um, morale than I did, so they're winning the morale game. They're pretty much, um, like, their damage is more or less the same across the board. So that's good, in a way. So let's go ahead and, uh, divert some more stuff doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. so uh the thing about these guys is they seem to only have one dice but i'm guessing they only need the one dice so that's a little bit spicy I kind of want to like focus on one of them But I, I know I'm not doing that right now max damage. Oh, ouch. Ouch Not discard just having one copy of the card in the deck means singleton. Oh, I see so If they if they're built correctly, they only have that one card in their deck But how can you do that? You can only have three copies of one card Oh Mimesis got really da damaged there Mimesis is taking some damage Mimesis is about to take some more damage Let's do um, puppet blockade it actually has some pretty good damage um, Do forceful gesture I'm gonna I'm gonna try and focus on one. I, I will conflict the other ones If I can But I, I really do want to try and take um, focus this one here because they're their uh, Defense is down ish Big question what games are you most excited for in the coming year? Uh, Caves of Cud. <laughs> Caves of Cud 1.0 comes out next year. So, uh, a, a, an actually valid answer, in my opinion. However, um, I think Baldur's Gate 3 comes out next year, and like I don't. Uh, that's why Baldur's Gate is on the vote today, is because I have never played any of the Baldur's Gate, but I do really like the company working on Baldur's Gate 3. Um. They, they did, um, I mentioned this before, but they did Divinity, uh, Original Sin, which I really, really enjoyed. You can put max three copies of a single card in the deck. If you put only one card with a singleton prefix, you get the power boost. Oh. Oh, I see. It has to be the only of that type. I thought, okay. All right, I get it. Thank you for explaining it to me. Um, in, in, in small words, I appreciate it. I get it now. Um, okay. Now who let's focus this lad over here. They're, they're pretty low on their health on their defense. I mean, I think things are going pretty well right now, actually. I've got Twin Swords. Uh, Twin Swords has all of the, the benefits of the morale right now. Oh, no. Pedro, you might die. Sorry, Pedro. Oh, well, you're staggered right now, so you're probably still going to die. So the question is, are they going to focus? Yes, they are. Okay, we can save Pedro. I honestly think we, we can save Pedro fine. 
Wow, uh, they're really winning the morale bonus right now, aren't they? Did I not? Did I do a stupid here? I did do a stupid, didn't I? There's only one seven, so I have to use that against them. But then there's only one seven. So, okay, Pedro, you're gonna die. Sorry. Sorry, Pedro. Sorry. Uh, Larian didn't work on other Baldur Gates game. Just saying. No, I, I get that. I totally get that. I know that I may. There's a good chance. This is why I said this. Um, there's a chance that I may just not enjoy the original Baldur's Gate games that has happened before um, I won't let that necessarily stop me from playing Baldur's Gate 3 because I probably have, there's a good chance I will enjoy Baldur's Gate 3 Even if I don't enjoy the original Baldur's Gate, but it would help for me to like, you know I'd like to maybe get some of the storylines that are going to be um, in 3 that are, are probably built on the on the uh, backs of the series okay um this is a this is not great i don't have a lot of cards left for this lad we should be able to divert all of the attacks though so that's good it was actually bioware who made them bioware that's a name i haven't heard in a long time one, at one point, I, I really liked KOTOR. Bioware was a friendly, like, household name at one point. I know there's gonna, there's probably gonna be, like, some kind of, like... Not, I wouldn't say argument about this, but, um... You know, like, I, you know, Bioware is a company I could see there being opinions in, in, in chat about. Um... You know, like, they... Huh, I don't know like it, it's a weird thing it really is just kind of like well they got bought by ea and then now they're ea so now uh, what do you say still don't know much about this game so but so far i've learned one thing apparently p is stored in the brain <laughs> uh you're not wrong i think i won i think i've won this i, I did a good job maybe it's actually bioware who made them if you played dnd you probably will know what's happening I remember really enjoying the Baldur's Gate games, but I also played them when I was like 13 and didn't know anything about anything. Um, KOTOR is a series I wouldn't mind playing on, uh, uh, for, on stream at some point. That's the only game uh, I've really played of Bioware. I only played the first one. I've never played the second one. I would like to play the second one. I've heard very good things. I I I know like I um oh, I was excited for it. I own it. So like, you know, there's there's lots of uh reasons to play it. It's a it's a pretty long game. I would want to replay the first one again. It is also a pretty difficult game at times. Okay, we're doing another storyline. I, I didn't think I'd do that one so easily. Now, friends, don't get too excited. You're rushing it. My poor friend is about to faint from crying, see? Thelma. Oh, Thelma, you pitiful friend. You'd better hold your tears in, though. The real fun hasn't even begun yet. Oh, ho, ho. Yo, ho, ho, ho. I recommend checking out Malkuth Floor. Oh. You know, I'm a tan. I would love to do that, but I have a, kind of a, an aversion to doing the anomaly floors because they've gotten really difficult and they, they tend to eat up an entire stream or, or at least an entire segment if I don't do them properly. The spicy smoke from me, we pipe ought to dull your pain, eh? These guys are straight out of Elden Ring. Yo, Elden Ring reference? Yo -ho -ho -ho. Ain't this one a scaredy little fellow? Wang me pal. Sure is, sure is. Ho -ho -ho. I still only flaked about what uh, on 1,347 slices so far. 
Now let's see your blue fella. How many slices did you want? That's too many slices. Thelma may be a dear friend of mine, but breaking promises is a serious crime. So how about 10,000 slices? <laughs> Yo, that that's too many slices. Alrighty, alrighty. Leave it to me, chap. You got five people on Malkuth. I wonder how you can upgrade that floor even further. They do look like characters straight out of a From Software game. I mean, uh, I love this ongoing joke where it's like, oh, this must be an L. Uh, is this a Skyrim reference? When uh, you know, the game came out first. I like this guy over here. Oh, wait, this is the uh, clock girl, right? Who got saved? Cog? You still have four. Leave it to me, chap. Ah, uh, buggery do Me, you greedy old lass. You can't just eat all of the slices of a plate. Crikey, you're gonna pop me eardrums. We're eating them anyway, so why not have some now, hmm? Now, now, there's still plenty more for all of us. So don't fight over some bitty meat. Anyone gonna get armored core? Uh, that's a good question, Sock. I am interested in armored core having played none of the other armored core games but um i talked a little bit about this on the discord i i have to say i really respect from software or at least um i don't know like who's being allowed to make the decisions in that company but if it's miyazaki then you know props um I, you really i really would think that after the uh, insane success of elden ring they would just be like yo Elden Ring 2. Money in the bank. You'd think that, right? Instead, sequel to their basically like 10 year old, you know, 10 years since their last game. Um, very arguably a niche title. I know that it has an audience. I know it has a fan base, but you, 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 you gotta know that having a fan base isn't the same as having uh, guaranteed money. Um, so I have to say I really appreciate and respect the the, the decision to, to make a sequel to Armored Core. Um, so I have to assume, um, since it is from software, since it is uh, Miyazaki, that he's got some ideas. It's not an arbitrary decision. It's not like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll you know, that's a cha-ching, right? Um, so I'd like to I'd like to see what they have in mind for that game. Also, um, you know, Giant Mechs, though I'm not the biggest Giant Mech fan, uh, I think that um, after having worked on like several games since Armored Core, I think From Software has uh, really, like they, they just have insane design chops. And uh, even from the very short trailer that they showed off, um, I, I, I love the designs they've got going on, especially some of those large, chunky mechs. And robots so you know what yeah um, I'm down for armored core 6 I, I, I'll go ahead and be a fake fan uh, no one knowing you know uh, feel free to call me out um, but like I, I think that that armored core 6 looks like a lot of it should be a lot of fun and uh, I'm, I'm down for that uh, cog lady cult leader uh, highly recommend upgrading your floors. The only one that's going to give you trouble, Abno, is from liter literature floor. Okay. Uh, blue person looks so fancy. You have a Discord now? I do. Uh, there is a link in chat. I'm already in it. Yo, welcome to the... Welcome to the big simples. I don't know. What are we calling ourselves? How do I, um, indoctrinate y'all? Uh, what's the agreed upon term um well welcome to the simples we simp it up friendo there, there you go that's that's our new calling card simp it up there you go there's still plenty more for all of us so don't fight over some bitty meat bimple good there bimple good there you go <laughs> most of the games i'm waiting for are indie games simpos I gotta try and flake enough to feed all of us full. Velma, don't give me such a look. You know the terms of our deal. You were handling all the tasks so well, you can't just fail me in the end. Blue feller, looks like this feller has some to, something to say already. 
Do we pull the gag out of his mouth? Sure, please do. You know, I'm just here to show support to a friend, not join a cult. Ha ha ha. Cult? What? Hmm? No. 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 Sure, please do. Uh. This is a uh, POV. You've just joined the big simple gang. <laughs> Welcome to the big simples. Blue reverb, you crazy son of a bitch. Don't be ridiculous. Imagine this, but like in a laughter voice. You're the one who gave me an impossible task in the first place. Uh, it was your choice to only employ Section 2 of the Southern Branch for this, Thelma. You could have had Section 1 deal with some of them. Little Mr. Prideful Thelma tried pulling a shabby scheme to get rid of Section 2 so he could keep his seat. And now he's failed to keep it up his promise with me. But you, you gave me the hint to use them. I never said it was a must though now, did I? All I asked from you was to take care of the things on the list within the period I set and you agreed to it. Cunning bastard. If you kill me, the branch manager, then section one of my branch will be after you and Sheik HQ will too. Even Hannah is going to make a move. So please, please give me another chance. Thelma, you just can't bring yourself to say sorry for breaking our promise till the very end. It aches my heart to see it. You don't have to worry about me. Remind me where we, uh, where we are friends? It's the back streets, eh? Uh, of, uh, District 23, is it? In it? Tuesday? Oi, Gavna! Still posting Ruina memes in Discord. Me and the boy is gonna kill the main pro tag, be like... Tuesday! Fancy a crumpet! <laughs> hey Kevbo, what have I missed so far? More talking. Yep. Well, really? Don't this poor old lad realize it's nighttime? Of course he wouldn't. His eyes are covered tightly like. Aye aye. The night in the back streets. Bingo bingo, no one will ever know where or how you died and who killed you. You'll just slowly melt away from the city, right? I'm certain he will, sir, and Ar Argalia. Okay, then. Let's proceed with it, friends. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm terribly sorry. I'm sorry for breaking our promise. Here come the flesh sounds. What do we diddly do, neighborino? Do we cut it short here? Thelma. Yes, Argalia, it's all my fault, I swear. I swear I'll never, I'll uh, try to pull any cheap schemes, and I'll never break promises with you ever again. Ah, uh, Thelma, I'm about to shed a tear. There's no way I'd actually spare you for making a sin sincere apology. I knew you weren't the brightest friend in the supposed shed, <laughs> but I didn't think you'd be this slow. Still, I'll take your apology to heart. Time to pull your gags back on, laddie. Say ah. Uh, I hate you so much. <laughs> Don't make such a sad face, lad. We all gotta have some more smi Let's put a smile on your face. What'll we do next, fella? As soon as you're done with him, lead to the head to the library. I'll ha uh, leave the invitation here. And take good care of Thelma. He was my old friend, all in all. These lads will give you a mechanic that will let you absolutely no brain bosses and guess just pure unga bunga. Yes! Finally! District 23 is the cannibal district. Now then, Aileen, uh, shall we go meet some other friends? Of course, sir. He's totally won over the heart of the leader of the Church of Gears, huh? And an absolute madman. He's a fixer, and he's got a distortion, and even the smiling faces on his leash. Being a color must mean ha having immense power, is that right? Yep. Colors are exceptionally skilled fixers, even among grade one. 
Batman villains be like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a daughter of chaos. <laughs> Yo, uh, well, oh, DC is uh, Warner Brothers, isn't it? You know, it'd be a good mashup. And I hate this. I truly do not like, um, like multiverse just throw every franchise in the melting pot things i, I don't I was, like I, I don't like it but i hate to admit it i kind of want to i kind of want to see this um <laughs> oh god i'm gonna be hated for this okay um uh, so ha have like a dc superhero universe right you could do marvel but marvel's kind of whatever like marvel is its own tainted batch you got to do it with the dc universe because the dc universe basically those characters are so um like patched together like batman is is has been done in so many different ways that he's basically a generic protagonist at this point he's just generic dark man i'm i'm the dark man and i'm gonna punch face L listen i know there's nuance to batman i love batman i love batman right uh you know rip kevin conroy uh but just hear me out okay so you have like batman and he's doing an investigation right because <laughs> he's a detective remember <laughs> and then and he's finding out about a new uh, group of, of potentially evildoers run by a kingpin of sorts. Not the kingpin. That's Marvel. A mouse. <laughs> right? Okay. A mouse. Okay. And he's got a henchman. Right? He's got a, a right arm of, uh, of destruction. You know, uh, someone with, with some beef to them. And they are a giant dog. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. All right. Call him the goof. Right. <laughs> okay, you give them all. <clears throat> you give them all weird names. All right. So you got like the big M. Right. He's he's the kingpin, and then the goof. He's just like a big brawler. Right. Okay. And then there's the the left hand of the the kingpin who is um he's a he's a he's got an uh a, an anger streak you know he's got a he's kind of a he kind of rages out a little bit um but he's a bit more of a schemer <clears throat> call him the duck <laughs> yes <clears throat> you you figured it out it's batman versus uh the disney universe <clears throat> no 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 <clears throat> it's not looney tunes it's uh it's it's disney characters reimagined as uh basically gotham villains <laughs> gotham mind you because they gotham is a fun place where you can still become some kind of weird roided out mutant right so goofy is just like a a, a cheryl oh uh, sorry cheryl barrel chested like roided out monster like think bane okay donald is like the riddler almost like he but he's uh he's he i guess there's a bit of bane in him too because he could he, he just kind of rages out you know you gotta keep some of the original character isms right actually i guess goofy would be better off as like almost a uh a, a, a joker clone but i i like i like more the aesthetic of goofy being like a big uh like brainless kind of almost like the croc and he's just like a big brawler i like this idea it's stupid but you know what um i don't know i've seen so many takes with the uh, with the gotham and batman and the dc universe and I, I i feel like um that whole universe is a little bit more fun when it is fun and not just like grim dark and grounded i don't think it should be necessarily grounded it's its own thing we live in a society we we all live under the umbrella of the mouse eight thelma eight books eight librarians not racist just don't like them i love blue fella like me own son love me bong love night in the back streets simple as <laughs> what the heck what is going on Given a whole new meaning to Pinky Promise when you rip it off for breaking the promise. I I feel yeah. 
Hanna Association assigns a unique color to each of them. Assigned a color. They're the best fixers in the city, basically. They pay, their pay is way up there, too. I suppose the blue reverb was assigned the, the color blue. Yep, just like how the red mist was assigned the color red. Is he as strong as the red mist? Well, in terms of sheer power, the red mist is in her prime is probably above him. But there's a whole lot of fields of fixer activity, and the situations can differ for each case. So it's hard to make a fair one-on-one uh, -on -one comparison. For example, the Red Mist liked to work alone, but the re Blue Reverb is leading an urban nightmare class syndicate, as you can see there. Goofy would be a kind of a Solomon Grundy type. <laughs> I like that a lot. Well, Mickey Mouse copyright is running out soon. You say that, but I mean, it's been running out for close to 100 years now. Not really, but you know what I mean. Uh, it, it's the, the the copyright on the mouse has run out a number of times and every single time it gets close Disney tries to push it back a little bit um, but that's a whole other uh, political discussion could we get to the blue reverbs book if we ever happen to need it maybe if we tried by any means the city would be much better off without that maniac too mouse and bat sounds like a fun yo that's actually a gr that would be a, gr a good tagline Mimesis, the bat versus the mouse. Aren't bats rodents? Are they rodents or are they something else? Yo ho ho! Would you look at that? This place sure is a whole nother world. Don't get lost in it now, lad. You gotta keep on your toes in a tiger's den. Uh, about time the director showed up. Mickey Mouse would be a Joker type villain, keeping a smile in grim situations. Yeah, I, I don't think he, like I think he would be a smiling villain too, uh, Jared. I think that's that 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 works. Uh, I don't like. Um, I, I don't think he would want. I, I wouldn't want to have him have the gimmick of like trying to make other people smile. Uh, Mickey is about appropriation. Um, he likes to uh, take what is not his and then um, destroy, destroy. <laughs> He's a he's a, a corporate villain, you know. He uh, I think the the most dangerous thing about Mickey, not Mickey, sorry, the mouse, uh, is you you make him a corporate villain. Um, he plays above board. He's almost like Lex Luthor, you know. Isn't that just most of Disney characters? Greetings, dear guests. Nice to meet you, Lassie. Say, you have the, the book of an old pal named Eugen here? We do indeed. Oh, really? Guess there really is. Blue fella really is a scary one. I couldn't think of any other DC Carambos to compare him with. Isn't that just most of Disney characters? I mean, the appropriation part. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I'm not drawing a direct comparison, but yeah. That's what's what, what makes him. Uh, oh, I see. You mean like, oh no. Disney characters. Are you talking about like Gotham villains? Yeah, I mean they all like to take what's there, what's not theirs. But you know, like, I guess with the the mouse is maybe he goes a step beyond that. He uh, he buys you out. He plays. He he bends the rules to get gets what's he's what's his. Blue fella really is a scary one. Sure is, sure is. Everything's going as he says. May you find your book in this place. That was a fairly short dialogue, despite the fact that I stretched it out. Um, so there's two acts to this. What do they got? They are... They have normal uh, everything, so I can pretty much use whoever I want. Smoke amplifies outgoing damage instead of incoming damage on this character. 14% chance to boost slash. So there's slash. Malkuth is four. So is Hod. Um, are any of my teams uh, strong against Slash? Well, uh, not not Team uh, Roland. I kind of just want to go you saw it again. Instead of robbing the bank, the mouse buys the bank. That there you go.
has um has there really been any like i'm talking to comics as well but has there been um any stories involving batman fighting a, a corporate villain like someone who does play above board they don't they don't rob they they just uh steal you know there's a difference the de the mouse is definitely lawful evil though yeah absolutely They only have one slash card though. Oh. You're right. Bash, bash, bash. Are we strong against bash? No, not really. That's fine. Uh, you'll have to forgive me for smooth braining things. I mean, I am trying to, uh, you know, play things properly. Gain two haste. We'll get the haste. Haste is good. Um. Yeah, I am. I am trying to like not pee brain things. Okay, we have no zero there. We do have some zeros here though. Um, let's try and focus fire on this front line, dude. There you go. It would be kind of rich since that's Batman himself. Well, exactly right. Uh, I think that that's an interesting. Uh, there's an interesting story there because, uh, as a lot of people have pointed out. Uh, you know, Batman, well, not really Batman. Batman's fine. What's really outdated is Bruce Wayne. The idea of a, a billionaire masquerading as a villain or a, a superhero. Not really masquerading, but you know what I mean? Like, it, it's the, you know, it's funny. Like, we're okay with um, the idea of a vigilante. We're not okay now, and I think rightly so, uh, with uh, someone who's got an absurd amount of wealth. I know we're getting a little bit political, but I think that comics should be political, damn it. I think that there should be something going on there. Um, okay, actually, you know what? Let's uh, switch this up. We're going to fight that one, and that way we can uh, fight the, well, oops, this one here. And now we're going to continue wailing on this frontline dude. This is good. Wait, do we have another zero over here? No. Technically, there's that one Batman from an alternate universe where he was hit with laughter gas before killing Joker and... Uh, you're talking about the bat that laughs. I really kind of hate that story. I, I... You know, like, people can do whatever they want and reimagine Batman however you want, you want to, I suppose. Okay, maybe you're not talking about the bat that laughs because I know there's a few different ones where, like... You know, oh, Batman got, you know, changed or something. You know, like, and a, a reimagining. But um, that's like the most popular one is the bat that laughs. Uh, anyone claiming otherwise is just unaware or deluding themselves. Comics are political and have always been 100%. Yeah, you remember when Superman fought the KKK? I'm not making that up. He fought the KKK. I, I, honestly, I, he should probably do it again. I don't know, you know, like, when did uh, when did that become spicy? <laughs> Listen, I you know I know that uh, bringing some of this up in a, st a stream where I play video games is a little strange, but like, come on, what? <laughs> like, it's very surreal to me some of the things the things that happen. Smoke thing is amplified damage on the target by a certain percent. More smoke equals more damage. If you have smoke passive, then instead of taking more damage with smoke on you, you deal even more damage. I am talking about the bat who laughs. I'm not a huge fan of the bat that laughs because I, like I read the first comic. I have to admit, I haven't read all that much of it. So I really can't say, but I gotta say it's gonna be one of the lamest origin stories. And I just think that the idea of the bat that laughs is just like someone's like edgy wet dream. It's like, we'll make the, the Batman, but this time he's the villain and he's also the Joker. Why is it always the Joker? You know what? I'd have more respect if they were like wanting to reimagine the Batman as one of the more B-side villains. The bat that riddles, you know, <laughs> like. Um, the fact that it's the Joker I think it just reeks of 
this will sell and it, they were correct it did sell very well for them so you know that's fine it's like the red hulk uh, do, does anyone ch in chat know about the red hulk i don't know what the deal is with the red hulk like i don't know his whole backstory or something like that but um basically he's just a red hulk and if you know anything about it, it's one of the most popular, one of the most successful comic book decisions ever made because they got to sell a comic with the Hulk with a big red angry face on the cover. And that big red angry face sold an absurd number of comics. And that's why I have less respect for some of the decisions that are made for like superhero comics because at the end of the day it's like they're just gonna throw whatever they want at the wall and see what sticks see what sells issues and i mean that's business right but uh they're they're in you you've kind of lost me because it's just a red hulk that's it it's like it's like that episode of the simpsons where uh you know uh lisa is trying to make an actual positive change by making uh, a malibu stacy doll that ha actually has like some some like kind of feminism built into it i know this is getting weird now probably everyone's like what what in the world is he talking about but it, just hear me out you know uh this is a simpsons episode lisa's trying to she uh malibu spacey stacy talks for the very first time they sell these these uh dolls where it it talks so you know this this um toy that lisa has enjoyed for a lot of her childhood for the first time ever she gets to hear it talk and you know what it says like baking is fun math is hard i don't like math right so she's like what the heck is this this is garbage so she tries to make her own doll and uh you know for the most part succeeds she manages to make a doll uh works with the original like voice actress for malibu stacy and all, whatever you know like it, it's a whole thing and then it gets outsold by malibu stacy because they put a hat on her and that's business that's and that says a lot about society <laughs> no for real though like um th that's what i'm talking about is like when it comes to comics is like you could just put uh, uh you could put the hulk on the co on the cover with a hat on it and it's like oh my god but he's got a new hat and then uh and then you sell a bajillion comics and then i'm just like oh you you uh you lost me honestly let me see what chat's saying uh i must be unaware or deluding myself what what i think you're just unaware i remember kevbo hulk turning red from what i've read he and other evil batman were part of a group of dark multiverse batman the heck lisa baking is fun well <laughs> okay uh G jesse what are you talking <laughs> about jesse what are you talking about what I want I want it to turn into a pickle. Oh good. It's this bit again. I was wondering. I was hoping this bit would come back. What are you talking about? It's easy. It's easy, Rick. Oh, we're just gonna sell meth and turn into a pickle. What? That's genius. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Uh, in Batman the Brave and the Bold, there's an alternate version of Batman named Ol Owlman. Ah, uh, isn't Owlman a Watchman reference? Because the thing is, uh, oh, sorry, not Watchman, Watchman. Uh, the the owl um, in the Watchman was basically a, a direct reference to Batman. And in the same universe, the Joker was a hero named Red Hood. Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, the whole multi-verse thing gets very strange very quickly, and I uh, admittedly do not understand it. Because it's like, oh, in this universe, you know, the Joker is actually Alfred. Actually a thing that happened in one of the Batman multi-verse things. 
yeah the joker didn't exist in this universe and alfred recognized that that was a incorrect thing that he had to fix that so he put on the joker makeup and became the joker so that um batman would have an arch nemesis what can we stop like that's i'm sorry that's dumb like genuinely a thing that happened someone wrote that down and then handed it to someone else and that other person was like yep yeah, looks, looks good, good to me and then they put it and they like they boarded it or they didn't board it because it's a comic but you know they they do board comics believe it or not i don't know like i, I started this whole thing by saying comics can be political but um I, I think that I'm a little bit cynical about that when it comes to uh, some of the mainstay characters and icons because they're too kind of they're very much stuck in a in a universe where they have to like you got to market them. I have more respect for people who just think comics are fun than those who try to project something way deeper into it. Don't mean actual an analysis. Comics can be interesting as a reflection on the society. Okay, well, all right. Vild, uh, or Cactus, uh, I hear what you're saying. There, there's a compromise. I, I think on one end, you've got, like, a Mouse, uh, which is a comic about, um, you know, literally the Holocaust, right? And I don't know, like, I don't know where you, your line is. Like, when, when is a comic, like, not, not fun anymore and no, no longer, like, when is it not fun, right? I don't know. Um, uh, you know, I could I could genuinely ask you, but um, I, I think in terms of like a political commentary comic, it doesn't get much more political than Mouse, which is like literally about the Holocaust. Okay. And then on the other end, uh, you've got like I don't know Archie. Sure. I don't think it, you get much farther than like Archie or say Casper, Casper the Ghost. You know, wholesome, friendly. Nothing. Literally the friendly ghost. Okay. Uh, comics isn't anything but irrelevant. I disagree with that. That's a. That's like you know. Like I. I talk. You know, I, I. I talk to someone about comics, and they're very much in the old guard when it comes to comics. And it's like there. There aren't any comics anymore. That's not true. You're just not looking. There are comics. Um, most of them are going to be like independent, but also there are some big names in comics that try at least try i like what jeff lemire does i don't necessarily like their comics like jeff lemire if you don't know uh did sweet tooth uh sweet tooth is a pretty political comic it's a post-apocalyptic which i think is kind of trait but like at least it's something original you know it's it's something fun um you can you can get into it it's not too heavy um and it's it's something right it's literally anything uh, that isn't just Batman again, right? Which is fine. You, you can have Batman, but we have something else. Um, they're, they're like, the, uh, Jeff Lemire is just a example. I actually think that um, manga, and this is going to sound like a really bad opinion for a lot of people. I think manga is holding the torch for comics in a lot of ways. Because the one thing I love about manga is that you really can just find anything. Like, you can just find whatever you want any interest you have there's a manga out there freaking chess yeah there's a chess manga out there somewhere i'm sure uh you know uh, like it's not even a not even a, a difficult one obviously like go uh hobby club uh i don't know volleyball i mean uh, volleyball is a very popular one obviously but like literally anything you want it's out there go and find it go go nuts and it's fun they're generally pretty fun i mean they're they're schlock but you know as a uh, cactus was saying like i like when comic when comics are fun and they are fun they are genuinely just trying to be entertaining um so i think manga is holding the torch in a lot of ways for entertaining comics uh and they can be political as well you know it's not like they're you know trying not to be but if you ask me, I'm one of uh, those everything is political people. Oh. I thought you said... What? Who said that you, um, comics have always been political? Who said that? 
I want to I don't want to get people mixed up Uh I can't remember Honestly, I just want comics to be either fun standalone adventures or stories that tie in with the media that they're based off of like Sonic or Mega Man. I'm sorry to laugh. Um, yeah, no, I, I that's fine. Bimple talking about the soul of a literally dead child trapped on this earth and unable to pass on to rest in peace. Literally the nicest, sweetest, most friendly comic ever. I mean, you can, you can absolutely be, listen, I know you're joking. All right, I'm not going to not read irony in your statement, Kevpo, but come on now. Chess manga? March comes in like a lion. <laughs> Is that the name of the comic? Mangas are way too tropey for me, for my taste. It's not enough to have a fun premise if the rest of the story is rope. Uh, it's not that the premise... Like, I don't come for the premise. That's the thing, Neville. I never come for the premise. Like, let me just be clear. I don't give a crap about volleyball. <laughs> okay? I I don't if, if volleyball ceased to exist tomorrow, I would not shed a tear at all. I'm sorry uh to the volleyball fans. But like you have to believe me when I said I read a 300 plus chapter manga about volleyball at the edge of my seat. I enjoyed every freaking page of that manga. It was stupid fun. I loved it. I loved it. Every single freaking page of that volleyball manga had me on the edge of my seat. Loved it so much. For real, cannot recommend it enough. So I'm not there for the premise, honestly. The premise is like very much, um, it's just the pitch. Like, but it's, it's honestly like I'll, I'll read pretty much anything. Uh, when it comes to manga, as long as it's, uh, tr I, I, to, for me, the line is it has to actually care about the premise and not just use it as a platform to, uh, show me TNA. Um, that's, that's the line for me. Like, uh, you know, I know a lot of people were, were big on this uh, anime about the magic, the, the girl who's practicing magic trying to be an entertainer but has stage fright okay that's the pitch whatever um if the manga or the anime is good i'll watch it but let's be honest the whole thing was just a platform for tna so for me it's like ah i'm out i i don't need that i'd rather you commit to your premise commit like hard you know and that's what i like about manga is that it does commit generally speaking um it it is so committed that it's actually a little bit off-putting for people it's like yeah i mean this is a story about chess and when you read the story about the the person playing chess it's like oh my god he just opened with e6 pawn if i don't like you know like it's so next level taken seriously that it's just you just like how you can't you're either going to be there or you're not. You're either going to be like, okay, yeah, what, tell me what is interesting about them opening E6 pawn. And they generally will. Like That that opening means that they're going to go for this classic Blitzkrieg op you know, strategy and I'm going to have to set up my zoning here. Like, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, no, tell me more. All right. You know, Martin in the arcade, tell me more. All right. But like, uh, you know, so the premise, I don't care about the premise. I care about the storytelling. I care about the commitment to the premise. Um, mangas are, yeah, they can be tropey. And you, the tropes, they're either off-putting or they're not. I, I, I kind of got used to them. So I admit that, you know, maybe I'm not the best to judge. I don't consider comics manga, to be honest. There is a big divide between Eastern writers and Western ones. I do love comics, but superhero ones I generally consider garbage and probably wrong. I don't blame you for thinking that I'm a 10. I just don't like when people say that the comics industry is dead. I just like to remind people that superheroes are not the only thing that exists, even in Eastern or sorry, uh, in Western culture. It feels that way sometimes because MCU, the Marvel and DC universe is like completely, it just, it's like the loud 
it's just very loud and it tends to drown out everything else but there is a comics industry and it does exist and you can find things that are not just marvel and dc bimple expecting kevbo to not be the most ironic douche possible <laughs> Oh, yes, I did enjoy that one also. Okay, sorry, I have to read this dialogue. I got very wrapped up in a com comics conversation, which I, I, I am pretty passionate about it. Any guesses? There's just way too many of off the top of my head. That crazed pervert can and will go far beyond anyone's expectations. That was it. There was two lines of dialogue and I accidentally skipped one. Ah! <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, I have five floors that need upgrading, including Malkuth, which when I upgrade it, we'll, ha we'll have five nuggets. Does anyone... <sighs> I did also en enjoy that one. Are you talking about uh, Q? I can't really contribute anything to this conversation, but um, I like old Batman comics, I think. I have not really read anything except H.P. Lovecraft and science stuff for like... Yeah, I, and I'm sorry, like, I know this conversation may be... Uh, like, I, I really don't mean to gatekeep comics in general. If you like superhero comics, that's actually totally fine. Um, I have opinions about certain comics, but, you know, I'm kind of a stickler, and I definitely never tend to share anyone's opinion when it comes to media and entertainment in general. Um, I'm, I'm just weird about it. I have very specific things that I like. Uh, what do you think of comic reviewers like Atop the Fourth Wall or Comic Tropes? I have never heard of them before. Um, red one is the hardest. Is that the literature one? Floor of language. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Roland's got an upgrade. Can we do Roland? Let's see if we can't do Roland. I've been wanting to... I want I want a fourth one for Roland's very badly. Oh, is this the one I tried to do? Did I try and do this and then uh, I got absolutely destroyed? Uh, copies the patron librarian's combat bookshelf. Light is restored to max each scene. Uh, I can't remember. I'm a 10 told me how this works and I can't remember. Because like... So they're going to copy the page that I use against them. Um, and I don't know how I'm supposed to, like, work around that. How do I work around that? Uh, four, seven, four, seven on inflict on hit inflict one feeble. You tried this one because you didn't read passives. I did read them. I didn't understand them. There's a difference. <laughs> I did read them. Caught long nose when clashing against lying is bad while lying. What? Copies the patron librarian's combat bookshelf deck. Light is restored. You read the big ones, passive. Oh, I didn't read these ones. Take after. Copies the first assistant librarian's combat bookshelf. Uh, a song in backward. While this character is alive, the cost of pages in the hands of all librarians is randomized each scene. Do I have to kill these guys first? Uh, I'm under the impression that if I attack this, if what happens if I don't attack this guy, does he not copy my page, my 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 stuff? Like I'm a little bit curious about that. Let me see. Oh no no, he just has a really good attack anyway. I don't seem to be doing a lot of damage against these lads. Okay, actually I am doing pretty good damage. I'm not I'm just not doing damage against their defense. Read the big ones passive. Uh copies of Patriot Librarian's combat bookshelf. Light is restored to max each scene. Lies plays a page that contains a lie every two to three scenes, which shows false information. Do the fight normally until funny letters will show up on your screen. Check attacks that will be played against you. If you did something wrong, clash with lying is bad. Okay. Um, so he's doing not another step. Take. Oh, I see. So they're doing take the shot now. Uh, 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and kill these lads first. Let's see what happens. And then um if I see lying is bad then I will uh oof. Ouch. Ouch. Please kill this lad. Increase max HP by 15%. Current HP increases in accordingly. Gain 1 to 2 speed. Okay, so um, I'm probably going to lose whoever that is. I haven't played as Roland for a while. Reduces all speed values by 10 for the duration of the scene. Status ailment. So, um, I wonder if I should be attacking them now since I killed one of these lads. Pinocchio the cure. Oh, Pinocchio the liar. So, um, we are Pinocchio the lying now. So I need to clash with him. I think I think this is pretty good. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Funny letters. After three successful attacks on the same target, deal three to ten bonus damage. Take two to less five less damage from stat slash. I don't think they do slash attacks. So this one is staggered, this one is not. I dream of becoming a human. Lying be like on the screen. They also have vulnerability to slash because puppets and strings, duh. Yeah, that makes sense. So now they have enduring and strengthened. So I'm about to die for sure. No question. Also, I'm like running out of uh, cards. Yeah, that's it. That's that. He ignored my advice. I mean, I didn't. I clearly just didn't understand your advice. Which is what happens pretty much every time. If you use something wrong, clash with lying is bad. Yeah, I mean, this is like 100% uh, why I don't like doing the abnos anymore because they require an understanding of the game that I clearly just do not have. Oh, that was that was good. Indiscriminate shot going for bullseye He's not attacking anymore, but he's still there's no funny letters Things are going surprisingly well uh, I guess I gave him the, the the thing that lets him like survive but then die <laughs> So he's about to die, like now. There we go. Um, they're they're weak to slashing. I wonder if I could give them different um cards or key pages. Uh, who's got some nice slash? Okay, here we go. Upon a successful slash attack, inflict one bleed. Next scene. These are cards that are, um, apparently they already have some stuff on them. Uh, this has slash on it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch, I'm just gonna switch Roland to, like, full slash. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. When you see funny letters on the screen, one of the attacks is a lie. If you see a wrong dice on the card, 
that played against you, you clash with lying is bad. I think I understand, but probably I don't. Have no battles require attention in reading. I mean, I read it, but like sometimes I just don't understand. Um, okay. So this one copies, rip off copies of second assistant librarians. I feel like I just need to ignore that part. Like they're, they copy you, but I, what am I supposed to do against that? On um, clash win, gain one strength next scene. There we go. These guys don't have uh, light. Speaking of comics, I was writing a Pedro comic, but haven't found the motivation to finish it. They it me. I tend not to have motivation when it comes to uh, making comics, at least these days. All right, they're absolutely destroying me. All right, uh, looking at their dice. And their passives. Uh, boost slash dice power by two for this scene. They copy your deck, but it's not really important unless they copy it wrong when funny letters show up. Okay. Are these the funny letters that show up? Does this mean someone is lying? Uh, I don't, I, I, I'm I, like, I don't see the, the funny letters unless it, it's these funny letter alert. Okay. So where, <clears throat> where is lying is bad? I have no idea where that is. And I've looked at each attack. Learn, slay. Play, draw the sword. Uh, lies. So this one lies. But where is lying is bad? This is Pinocchio the liar. So does that mean I'm just trying to um, attack Pinocchio the liar? Or clash against Pinocchio the liar? If you see a wrong dice on the card that played against you, you clash with lying is bad. Slay has defensive dice on one of the attacks. So he's playing Slay. But it's the same Slay as mine. Whereas this one is playing Slay, but the, the the attack is completely wrong. Is that what I'm getting here? Play is a page that contains a lie every two to three scenes, which shows false information. When clashing against lying is bad, while lying all... Um, I have to read the whole thing, I guess. Oh, there's more passives that I'm not even seeing. Uh, all dice lose four power. While lying, all dice gain four power if the character doesn't clash against lying is bad. Why is it bad? After the lie has been sniffed out, all Pinocchios gain two feeble and two disarm next scene. Okay. So, um, the reason I didn't understand what you were saying, Imatan, is I, I didn't know what was lying was bad. Because you have to figure out which one is lying is bad lying is bad is the card that they're playing that is false one of your cards nuggets have lying is bad i don't think that's true is it i don't think so um so question now that i know this am i just trying to 
clash against lying is bad like am i just trying to do this like just fight this one here like what am i what am i trying to do with that information i wish there was like honestly i wish there was some kind of indicator that there is more like just like a, a an arrow somewhere that's you know because i i didn't know there how much extra passives this guy had did you use it with p no i didn't i didn't press p no lying is bad is in your deck oh Oh, there it is. So I, I do that. That's what I do. And then I can just like use normal combat against everyone else. Is that am I am I correct now? Did we figure it out? You have Uno. You're given lying is bad when he lies. So you always have one to counter. Start of Clash, replace all dice with ones in the page that contains a lie. I'm just looking for a conf confirmation that I've done it right here. If I have, then great, I get it. If I haven't, then I don't get it. I've used lying is bad against the lie. That is the only combat I've used against the lie. But I have done it that way. And then I've done all of the other combat like normally. You did good? Okay. Yeah, no worries. I, I get like you're trying to explain something fairly complex. And I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it is compl complicated. Not because the actual mechanics are complicated, but because they're, um, conveyed in a very vague way like i know that read the passives and all but even after reading them uh, like i i probably would not have understand at all um but you're trying to explain it to me via the chat and it's a difficult thing to do and if i don't get it it means you have to explain it again except you don't know how to what to change so that i understand i get it it's frustrating and i i don't i don't blame you i'm i'm sorry that it's uh, it is frustrating but thank you for the patience to, you know, eventually, get, you know, get that lang that to me. Um, all right, things are going much better now, clearly. So now that I've sussed them out, um, they should have they they have feeble uh, disarmed. This this guy's bleeding. So, no funny letters means there's no lie. Except I still have lying is bad, but I want to keep that. I want to keep that ready for when the lying is going to happen. I gotcha. Uh... Yeah, I, like I know I'm like I am a little bit smooth-brained for sure um, I also think that things are conveyed in a deliberately vague way so that it's like you can you don't get the puzzle right away Roland's gonna die. I'm probably still gonna lose. This is the funny thing I'm trying to use uh, everything to my disposal after three successful attacks on the same target deal three to ten No, I don't like that um, Actually, yeah, let's give this one to someone who's about to die. Oh Never mind, that was dumb. Uh, yeah. hold on a second. Gain one to two strength at the end of each scene. At the end of each scene, if the librarian did not deal any damage. Uh, with offensive dice, they lose 25% of their max HP. Okay, I should not have done that. I thought that was the one that, um, like, boosted them and then they die. I, I thought that Rotland was about to die, so I was going to give that to him. So, no funny letters means no lie still. Um, I'm probably still going to die here because, um, you know, things are not exactly going well. If I could destroy this guy's defense, that would be really good. At least Roland's not going to take a damage here. 
Oh, cool. Yeah. Abno is still very difficult, even if you do know uh, what you're doing. Oh my god. Yeah, alright, here's the one. Um, can we, can I undo this? Nope, I have to do it now. Okay, um, Roland's about to die, so let's just give it to Roland. Oh my god. Uh, funny letter alert. All right, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> Slay has defensive dice, so that's clearly the lie again. If I can, like, kill um, Pinocchio, then, um, you know, that would be good. There's no way I can save uh, Void here, so I'm just going to try and go for it. Okay, yeah, this this is bad. It's all bad. Very bad. Dead. Alright. I don't know um, if this deck is very good against this uh, Abno. It is Slash, but I don't think it's particularly good Slash. I'll try it one more time with uh, our current set. And uh, we're approaching two hours, so that might mean we have to call it for uh, Library of Ruina, unfortunately. Uh, all right, we're just going to do the combat as per normal. And, uh, okay, hold on. We're going to need to do parse out our cards a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> all right, we'll do a slay. And we'll do um, a slay. Wait a minute. Who is this combat? Who is that person? Com oh, they were both combating. Eh, gross. Okay, this isn't great. Hey, Diamond Thorn, how you doing? You didn't clash with the lie. It got six strength. Also, if you're struggling, you should do passives if you don't have any. I think I do. How, how did I do there? Not great. All right, I'm just gonna... I, I don't even want to progress with that one. I think I do have passives, but I don't know if they're good for this fight. Passives in use. Oh, I guess I don't have any. All right, let's see. Let's say, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. passives ability slash. Okay, so they already have Razor Strike. They already have those. Upon winning a clash with offensive dice, inflict one bleed. That seems good. Mm, that's already Razor Strike that's already on. Slash damage plus two, pierce damage negative one. That's fine. That's good. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. slash damage. Do I already have minimum offense? Let's see if I can add all of these. I mean, these aren't like game changing because Roland already has a ridiculous number of good passives. 50% chance to boost slash damage by one. Sure. There we go. Oh, do we, do I already have that? Oh, huh? Why can't I add that? Now, that doesn't make sense to me, honestly. You absolutely should burn Index and Smiley Lads books for premium cards. Okay. Well, let's leave it as this for now, um, and I'll do that right now.
think you only have to kill the center main boy if that makes it easier it really doesn't because the other the side boys are doing a lot of damage so i'd rather just like take them out they give great cards to be honest okay uh let's do that a couple more times just so i get all of the cards pretty sure i only need one of each and then the mod just like fills in the blanks Wow, this one's still three of three, meaning I haven't gotten any of those or meaning I have gotten all of them. I, I really don't understand how those numbers work. Like, I straight up don't know. I'm just going to assume I have them all. And then uh, index proselyte, proselyte. Um, we're going to burn all of these. Did Bimple burn Union's book yet? I think I did, yes. Um, so I think that means I've gotten three of three. So I've got at least one of each. So that means I should be able to use as many of these as I want. And that also means I've gotten, well, I haven't gotten any hidden blades as far as I know. I, I, I clearly just have no idea what it means. Okay. Uh, Bimple, tell me more about these uh, proselytes. There you go. Okay, um, let's see if uh, we we could add some new cards to a slash. This one, um, we're using the bamboo hatted Kim page here, so it needs a, it needs specific combat pages. When using a combat page with one uh, non counter die. The die gains plus two power and it yields twice as many emotion points. Upon taking a lethal blow, reduce all incoming damage, including what activated this passive by 25 for the scene. Um, so we get like one gimme. Slash dice power plus two. Um, slash stagger slash damage. Like Roland should be absolutely uh, cutting the rug. Add to claim their bones user hand. Also burn sweepers. I don't think you burn those yet. Okay. I think I did, but I'll do it. These ones? No, not those. Where are the sweepers? Uh, I th think these are... No, where are the robots? Oh yeah, these ones? I definitely did burn these, but I'll burn them again. Chat, um, how's the vote going for the game? So far, Spiritfarer is winning. It's kind of split across the board. Uh, it's it's split between Spiritfarer and Baldur's Gate. Stalker did not win. <laughs> he did burn them. No worries, I'll burn them again. Okay. So, I don't know what to change on Roland. Rowan's got absurdly good uh, passives, I think. So let's look at, I don't know, cost three cards. Look at, like, scratch that. All dice on this page lose two power. I don't want that. That doesn't sound good. Replace all dice on this page with ones on a random page in hand whose original cost is four or lower, excluding counter dice. This seems okay. This means that if I has to have a bunch of these cards, then I would want to have high cost cards with like high slash. I'm not sure about those games. Uh, do you want me to give you a rundown? Have you voted yet, Dimethorn? Boost slash dice power by three for the scene. Uh, this seems very good. I like, I, I really do like uh, give two protection to two random other allies. That's a good card. Uh, on Clash Win, boost max roll value of last die by plus two. I like uh, Moulinet as well. I, I really like it. Gain one strength next scene. These are really good. I don't think I want to change these. 
I might want to take out one sharpened blade for one overthrow because it's just very good. Um, on Clash Lose, add to claim their bones to user hand. This seems good. Uh, I'm going to take out one sharpened... Mm, combat start, boost, slash... No, you know what? I like these cards. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep them. Uh, what are the zero? What are maybe maybe we have some better zero cost card add sweeper passives perhaps for healing and combat There are many good passives and just leaving free slots is a waste. Okay. I Don't know why I couldn't add that passive, but let's let's have a look at some sweeper passives uh, da, 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 da. Okay, here we go uh, recover to stagger resist on successful attack. Yeah, that is good defensive dice power plus one when another character dies, recover. No, we don't have to add that one, but we can add these two for sure. No, we can't. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, upon winning a clash with offensive dice, inflict. Yeah, we can get rid of this one. We could get rid of Jin and then add this one. And no, not, never mind, not that one. I guess there's a certain amount of um, slot, like maximum. And Roland's already maxed that out completely. So that's as good as we can do. I do like this. So that's good. I wonder if there's any better ones. Re recover two HP on a successful attack. Yeah, let's do that one instead, actually. Let's do Lila. There we go. Confirm. Yes. Uh, we'll do Imatan next. Imatan has no passives. We could add an extra speed slot. Probably a good idea. Once per scene, if the character has smoke, respond to a one side. No, I don't want. I don't want to deal with smoke right now. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. what about these ones? Let's make sure we're on in the last ones. Okay. Um, let's do. Yeah, let's do a Lila's page as well. Defensive dice power plus one. One another. Yeah, we we don't have to do that. And I'm gonna add some slash. Uh, I guess we can't do Razor Strike because I'm already using Razor Strike. Upon winning a Clash, uh, no, that's Bleed, which I don't think I have a lot of. Slash damage plus two, Pierce, yeah, we can do a double axe for sure. Uh, d -d 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 slash Stagger damage plus one, that's good. 50%, there we go, uh, that's good. So we'll do um, double axe. Whoops, double axe. Um, oh, okay, there, there we go. And that's that's the most we can do. Definitely want the stagger damage. Although, I don't know, 50% chance to boost slash damage is probably better than stagger damage because I don't seem to be doing a lot of stagger damage anyway. So let's just double down on, on the damage itself. Uh, sweeper passives are best for their buck and can find a place on any build. Okay. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Stagger, stagger. Uh, oh, we want a Lila's page, so we'll add that. And um, and then we're gonna do some more slash. I don't know how much more I have of like double axe. I think I've used up all of the double axes. One on Imatan. Uh, one is on Kevbo. And then one's on Roland. Let's take the one from Kevbo. We'll, we'll, we can add it later. Kevbo, sorry. Sorry, Kevbo. You're getting cheated. We'll do slash damage plus one. And then we'll do slash stagger damage plus one if we don't already have that. We have slash slashing pr prowess of grade eight. I think I don't think we have that. So we'll just we'll add that. Double X. Zvi Swordsmanship and Stagger Damage. There we go. This is pretty good. I haven't voted, but I think I will stay neutral. Okay. Oh, yeah! Getting cheated. Hey, everyone. Sorry I left for a little while. Greetings, Time Thorn. Let's all screw over that jerk right after. <laughs> uh. 
Um, all right, I do. Let's do yield the flesh. I want to do that more often because apparently, if I lose, I get this claim to claim to bones. Uh, let's do that actually against um, Pinocchio because that's that's the six, and then we'll do uh, crack the dawn against that other one, and then we're gonna do uh, slay. Slay! Can't do that song anymore. And we'll do give to protection. I like the protection. Wow, that, that stagger is just absurd. Ouch! Damn. You're a pretty cool guy. <laughs> okay, funny letter alert. Who's got lying is bad. Okay, who's lying? Okay, this Moulinet Mul is not good. That Moulinet is clearly a lie. So let's do lying is bad against the Moulinet. All right. Is anyone else lying? Can multiple people lie or is it just Pinocchio? Like, is this draw of the sword a lie? Restore one, three, six. Restore one, three, six. Okay. What about this learn? Oh, learn is their own attack, so that's fine. What about the draw of the sword? Yeah, that's still three of the six. Okay. So we're good. I've done. I've used the correct. Um, lying is bad. I think. Do 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 do. Uh, restore one light on, on draw on use draw one page on clash win reduce power of opponents next die by two I like slay slay gives us light and also um, Strength and light. I don't know Kevbo's cool guy only not only one lie per funny word alert. There's o there's usually there's more than one lie You're saying it, it can happen, but it hasn't happened this time I'm pretty sure I sus I looked at all of the cards and these are all fine. Ouch. Uh, after three successful attacks on the same target, deal three to ten bonus stagger damage. Uh, let's put it on someone who has some stagger left to give. Mimesis, thanks, but I strongly disagree. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, are you saying strongly disagree? Kevbo is not a cool guy. <laughs> uh. Okay, so Void is for sure doomed here. Oh, I should have given them speed. Why did I do? Why didn't I do that? That was really silly. I'm sorry. Uh, on boost max. Yeah, let's do this one. And then let's do flash. No, we'll do draw of the sword here. And then we'll do restore restore light. Um, I kind of want to use Moline. I just want to kill one of these puppets. Personally attacked. Not about the Kevbo thing. <laughs> Ouch. 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 Staggered. Please kill. Yes. I need to add commas. Not only one lie per funny letters alert. No. Oh, I see. No, only one lie per funny. Okay. All right. So, I, I, maybe my reading comprehension is just very bad. There is always that possibility. Okay, funny letters alert. I really hope that Roland isn't the one with the lying is bad. He's not. Good. Um, crack of Dawn, is that not correct? Draw of the sword looks incorrect. Yeah, draw of the sword is incorrect, so we're gonna go ahead and do lying is bad against draw of the sword. 
and um well we really aren't working with a lot here so let's just use a sleigh why not roland might die here unfortunately no no stop getting staggered Roland really needs to get some uh, wins here. Um, reduce power of opponent's next die. I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna use Moulin. Moulin. Sorry. Uh, and then, I guess we'll do sharpened blades. Uh, I think that Void should be able to survive one attack. Let's see how it goes. Yes. 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 No. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Yes. Roland's getting that health back. We're doing well. Staggered. Yes. The content PJ Moon community is just so wholesome and awesome. I'm not going to lie. Roland can't die, remember? He can't die exactly once. As I recall. Am I I hope I'm correct about that. I'm always incorrect a little bit. So, uh, you know. We're just gonna absolutely wail on the on the big bad. Actually, um, let's use Slay. Slay is a bit more damage, I think. Probably should have just focused on Pinocchio if I'm being honest. You win. Unrelenting passive. Uh, funny letter alert. Uh, is Moulin A looks Moulin A looks correct? So it's probably yield my flesh. No, that doesn't. That looks correct too. Does anyone have a yield my flesh? Yes. 5 to 10 uh, on Clash Lose at... Okay, Yield My Flesh is incorrect. So, um, where is Lying is Bad? Lying is Bad on Yield My Flesh. And then we're just going to do everything else as per normal. Actually, I am just going to like focus fire on Pinocchio. Your tax cost... Is randomized and you have been using three cost zero cost cards without noticing it this whole time um i i did know that but i i did kind of ignore it because it didn't really matter because i was able to use like not having speed on pretty much everyone else meant um i could just use whatever attack i needed at the time so you killing pinocchio is not the end of the combat not that it matters i could have just pea brained that honestly i did it yo, yo. you know no, notice the enthusiasm in my voice oh uh i got it Go and grab a delivery real quick. But let me let me read this first. Gather them all, Angela, Mr. Coffee Addict, Mrs. Smoking Addict, and the kid addicted to sharp tonguedness. Why are you arranged a meeting for us folk who accepted your proposal? Uh, make no mistake, Angela, we aren't on your side. We only share a common goal. Unlike that bean pole in black who's totally sucking up to her. I'm just an employee doing my best to work, and now you're calling me a bean pole. Common goal. Yes, that is all I ask of you. As long as we share the same purpose, you'll have to be on my side, like it or not. Both you and I are blind for the light, and you're still chained to the past. That's funny. Do you think you're free from your past? Have you forgotten it already, Chesed? The days you spent succumbed to fear? Uh oh, no. How can I forget? I still remember it clearly, you know. The shame of giving, giving in to that anguish will haunt me as long as I live. But I don't want to forget those memories. Decided to embrace them instead. So did everyone else here. 
He's right. I don't believe that I failed to protect anything. I could save the life of someone who inherited her, her will. Lolan can be busted from this point. Just load him full of three or more um, cost cards and rip and tear. Oh, nice. Enoch's sacrifice wasn't in vain either. That's what I believe. Pray, tell, miss, who's really chained to the past here? The past you speak of are so light and insignificant. Sure, if that's what you want, uh, if, if that's what you think. You only care about the feelings and agony you bear. Are you trying to call me selfish? No, just like how you can't understand our pain. We can't understand your, uh, yours, especially if you never experienced the same thing yourself. Others can't just walk a mile in your shoes. No one will get you if you don't speak up. Don't you try to lecture me after all this time. Off she goes. That was way too harsh, guys. Do you really think, uh, do you really have to be so hard on her? It's not because we hate her. We're saying this for Angela's sake. It's hard to take a step forward if there, there's no one around to give you honest advice. Here, here. Tifereth and I tell Jibura, um, or Gibura, so many things for her own good, too. Um, Chesed. Run, Chesed. Well then, if you'll excuse me, it wasn't a very pleasant meeting, but I'll say it was a meaningful one, since all of us got together for once. Let's, uh, she's about to blow up. See you around, Roland. Are those two always like that? Yeah, he does that, uh, every day knowing she'll get mad at him. Boy, that's brutal. Guess I'll have to expect the middle floors to be a war zone. You're acting as the mediator between those two? Who knows what kind of mess this place would be if I didn't stop them. But still, they actually care for each other, so don't think too badly of them. Yeah, it looks like not killing him outright is as good as her care gets. Nice, who wants to be a nugget? Are, is, is anyone in chat not a, not a nugget yet? Add a learn page to hand. At the start of the scene, randomize the cost of all pages whose original cost is less than four. Is anyone not a nugget that would like to be a nugget? Is Dima Thorin a nugget? Wasn't there someone in chat who wanted to be a nugget on on Team Roland? Hellcorp uh, Gabura could uh, could give the whole facility mommy issues with her pill. Jesus. Now you can lie. Uh, is there not two more floors? They keep talking. They, they were talking as if they had found all of the librarians. Is there not two more? Yo, does the loathsome tea maker become a librarian? That would be a twist. He's still alive, isn't he? All right, remember you got rid of someone to replace someone else, but I don't know. Um, I'm gonna give it two more seconds before I call it on this. Just, uh, if anyone wants to become a, uh, you can name different nuggets salsa. Or we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna make fourth Roland partner, Rhett. Uh. Rhett. Salsa red. All right, let's uh, let's try and make them look somewhat red-like in nature. Mostly, it's going to be a fairly short cut. I mean, this is not awful. Make her tiny? Okay. What color is your red? Are we talking about McNuggets? I don't know if I'm a, a nugget. I'm sorry, bot. I'll make you the next nugget. Is, uh, is your nugget... Or, sorry, is your rat gray or, like, brown?
I don't know what's happening. Um, these, uh, the, the people on the teams, the various teams, are referred to in the uh, Library of Ruina community as Nuggets. So, it's just a colloquialism for the, the, the people. We have a bunch of unnamed ones. Yeah, we do. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make them gray. I don't know if your rat is gray or not, but most rats are gray. She's gray, right? So I'm gonna make that hairstyle gray as well. Like that. Let's see what we can do. We could do like something like this. That's not bad. We could make them kind of a little bit like I'm a tan. That's actually not a bad face for um, Rhett. We could just do something the cutesy face. Nuggets equal character. Yes. And then of course, you know, uh, this is actually not an awful one. For, it kind of looks a little bit rat like. See if there's anything better if you have a preference uh, I'm a tan you feel free to let me know I kind of want to find something that does look a little bit rat like because then we have a better um, you know this is also a good one because it's kind of like henchmen This one's not bad. Okay, I'm a nugget then, I think. Bimple, your weekend streams, both DF and Caves of Cud, did really well. This gives credence to your three hour video idea, doesn't it? Well, um, yeah, we could, let's, you know, you want to talk about that for a little bit? We could. Um, I do have to go and pick up that package. First encounter was with rats, if you remember. Oh. Give me, give me one second, guys. There's like three balls in the air right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's kind of perfect. There you go. Perfect. I like this one. We could do this one, but I, I, I like the hammer. That one's fun. You could use the rats look more like a rat. I'm gonna go with this one. I like that one. It's fun. And it also kind of lends to the like cutesy vibe a little bit. A little bit of a juvenile look. I like it. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna, when I come back, uh, oh yeah, small, sorry. There you go. Uh, when I come back, well, let's talk a little bit about um, how the streams over the weekend went. We can talk about it later. I'm just gonna go and grab the package. I have a food order come in. I'll be right back one moment. Thank you for your patience. 